I'm Sabatino from Quarantine Tasmania. It's my job to uh, stop pests, weeds and diseases uh, coming into Tasmania. Uh, it's not just my job, but it's everyone's responsibility to uh, um, stop these pests, weeds and diseases coming through. In Tasmania, uh, we have a unique situation that we're free of a lot of aquatic uh, diseases. Uh, there are pest fish, uh, calerpa is another seaweed we don't want coming in, uh, oyster herpivirus, and the big one at the moment is Didymo or Didymo prevention. We know that Didymo has actually moved from the Northern Hemisphere, from places like Canada and US, into New Zealand in wet or used uh, fishing equipment or waders. So it's our job and it's everyone's responsibility to declare these things to quarantine upon arrival. We'll make a quick inspection. If there's contamination or if the things are still wet upon arrival, unfortunately they'll be held in quarantine and treated and then later returned. So these are some of the things that we find during our quarantine inspections. Uh, fishing gear that may be uh, um, brand new, clean and dry, that's okay. Uh, but unfortunately there are things that may not be a, uh, may be a problem and they're the kind of things like uh, fishing reels that have been used, um, rods and reels right through to waders that might be contaminated. Uh, some of these things unfortunately have to be placed in quarantine. The take home message is if anyone's uh, travelling overseas or travelling interstate, fishing, boating or uh, doing any uh, aquatic or, or adventure sports is to check with quarantine first. Uh, the message really is to check their gear, clean, disinfect and dry and then present that to quarantine upon arrival into Tasmania.